Gender general generic congruence rules to establish relations of those, and then seeing what falls through after we've applied that set of rules, what remains, what more work has to happen. This is a relatively slow process, but a quite interesting one. We have found so far about 10 or 15 of these congruence rules. Uh, Michael Butner had done a lot of that work with Pat uh, several years ago. Um, there's still more to do. This is a kind of uh, long-term strategy. And our current mechanism in terms of engineering, um, as Pat and, and Stanley have been talking about, some efficiency issues in language processing as you try to do it carefully, we're still experimenting with this offline. So you saw that long list of variants for a particular example. Um, we're generating those long lists and storing. The machines are good at storing and indexing and looking up. So we're not yet doing this on the fly. We're expecting to do this by taking for each of the thousand exercises, writing um, several hundred example variants, run through these periphery rules, and then use good lookup mechanisms to find those and match them with the student. In principle, of course, we can run this mechanism uh, on the fly. And we're going to need to do that as we expand our ambitions from sentence paraphrase to paragraph level paraphrase, which is the step we're just now starting to take. As of about um, 10 days ago, students in Memphis, Tennessee, some of those 29,000 students, are now writing little paragraphs for us, four and five sentence paragraphs. We don't get to have much of an idea about how to evaluate them. We're just gathering the data. Uh, it's a kind of controlled experiment um, on a massive scale. And over the summer, we're going to look at strategies for extending this notion of, of a paraphrase at the sentence level to see what we can find uh, across sentences at the paragraph step. That's all I have to say.